Hello friends. So let's take up a question on bearings. In this question, it's given that a ship sails 22 kilometers from A point A on a bearing of 030, and a further 30 kilometer on a bearing of 090 to arrive at B. So you can see the positions of A. Here is A. Here is B. Now AC is 22 kilometers. Bearing is 30 degrees. And from here, you can see bearing 90 degrees. So what is bearing? Basically, you have to take the north direction, and from there, you have to measure the angle. So first of all, this north and 30 degrees. So hence, AC is the first uh, diagram. And for at point C, again 90 degree, because in this case, at point uh, C, the bearing is 090. So hence, it will move towards east, and B is due east to C. So I hope how to Uh, make the diagram is clearer to you. So you have to find out the length AB, this one, AB, AB, and you have to also find out the bearing of AB. That means you have to find out angle, let's say NAB. So this angle is theta is unknown. This is what you have to find out, right? B from A. That's the bearing of B from A. So let's start. So if you see, let me just drop up a perpendicular here. Okay. So this is the perpendicular. So let me call it F. This point is F. Now let's solve. So how do we go about it? So if you see AB, how to find out AB? If we know AD and BD, BD is a perpendicular dropped here. You can see BD is perpendicular. So by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras theorem, we can say AB square is equal to AD square plus BD square, right? What will be AD and BD? Let's see. So if you see AD can be written as AF plus FD whole square plus BD square, right? BD square. This is the thing. Now let us consider triangle, triangle ACF, where angle F is ninety degrees, isn't it? Now we can use trigonometry to solve this. So ACF is ninety. So hence, can I not write CF? CF by AC is CF by AC, right? So if that is thirty degree, guys, can I not say this angle here is sixty degrees, right? If the bearing is thirty, so N angle NAC is thirty degrees. So angle FAC. Will be ninety degrees minus thirty degrees, which is sixty degrees. Clear, right? So hence CF by AC will be nothing but sine sixty degrees. Opposite by hypotenuse. So sine sixty is nothing but root three by two from our trigonometric table. We know this. So what is CF, guys? CF is equal to AC into root three by two. Now, thankfully, AC is known to us, which is twenty two kilometers. So twenty two into root three by two, which is eleven root three kilometers. No doubts about it. So we got CF. Now, if we look closely, CF is equal to BD actually. So this is equal to BD because CBDF is a parallelogram. CBDF, sorry, CBDF is a parallelogram. Right? There are four ninety degrees. Right? So hence, uh, it's a parallelogram. now so that's that being clear now we have to find out af what will be af guys so if you see clearly again you can use af upon ac af upon ac is cos 60 degrees correct af upon ac is cos 60 which is half right cos 60 half this means af is known af is equal to ac into half right Now AC was eleven. Oh, sorry, twenty-two. So it will be twenty-two into half. That is eleven kilometers. Fair enough. So we got AF as well as FC. Now we can come with or we can solve this question. So we now know AB square is equal to AD square plus BD square. We just saw above, which is now equal to AD can be written as AF plus FD whole squared plus BD squared. Isn't it now? AF can be written as AF. We already know now. AF is uh, AF is eleven kilometers, isn't it? So AF is eleven, and FD 
FD guys is equal to BD or sorry BC which is 30 kilometers isn't it see this length FD is equal to this length clearly 30 kilometers Right, so 11 plus 30 because this is a parallelogram or a rectangle, whichever way. So 30, 11 plus 30 squared plus BD squared. BD was root 3 by, sorry, 11 root 3. So 11 root 3 whole squared. So let's, so this is 40, 30 plus 1, 41. So let's find out this 41 square <coughs> is 1681. 1681, 41 square is. 1681 plus 11 square into 3 so and 121 into 3 is 363 okay 121 and so hence now add both of them 1681 plus 363 is 2044 right so now ab is clearly under root 2044 isn't it so once again check the calculations if check calculations are okay so hence 2044 is the total uh, is the square of uh, bd so hence now we can find out square root of 2044 comes out to be 45.21 kilometers okay so this is how much the point b is from a now we have to find out so ab is known now known we have to find out bearing so how to find out bearing so angle b a d right angle b a d we have to find out is nothing but or rather if you see angle b a d tan of angle b a d is nothing but if you see from the diagram it is b d upon a d right what was b d guys b d was 11 root 3 and what was a d guys AD was 11 plus 30, 41. So it is 11 root 3 by 41, right? So angle BAD is equal to tan inverse 11 root 3 by 41. This is BAD. So, but you have to find out the bear, bearing. So bearing is NAB, isn't it? This angle will be the bearing, theta, right? So theta or the bearing, bearing bearing of b with respect to a will be how much 90 degrees minus angle b a d so which is nothing but 90 degrees minus tan inverse 11 root 3 by 41 right so i'm not uh, finding the values over here so it's not required you know the concept now you can use trigonometric tables to find out the values and the this is the answer so now you know how to find out the bearings of any particular point with respect to other point right what is the what is the concept of bearing bearing is nothing but the angle made by the line joining uh, the point with respect to you want to find out uh, the bearing and the north direction right so that's what is the bearing so clockwise direction if you measure the angle from north of any particular point from a given point then we know that is the bearings. Okay, so I hope you understood this problem.